What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sheridan S. Davis, and I'm back, back, back with yet another video. Okay, unless you have been living under a rock, this has been quite an eventful few weeks for Beyonce, Jay-Z, Blue Ivy, and team. All started with Mr. Saucy Santana, Material Gra himself. Uh, some old tweets resurfaced of his talking about Blue Ivy, her hair, and her looks. Oh, it also talked about Beyonce uh, right after he sampled one of her songs. I'm going to do a full video on Santana tomorrow, but this ain't it. We're congratulating the queen today. So, uh, that happened. Saucy Santana refused to apologize publicly about his disgusting tweets when he was about 21 to 24 years old. Uh, where he talked about blue, her features, her hair, um... And, of course, they're her mother. So, after he refused to apologize, uh, he went to Houston to perform. I don't know how well he did there, as it is the home of Beyonce. Regardless, uh, I think he is disgusting for uh, what he has done. And so has everyone who has talked about Blue Ivy. All the girl did was breathe. And y'all just cannot keep her name out of your mouths. But... God gonna get saucy. I think he already did through the doctor who gave him that BBL. Anyway, moving on. Um, so that happened. Next thing we know, you know, sometimes we don't know if celebrities see, you know, what's going on in pop culture, specifically Beyonce and Jay-Z. They stay out of the limelight unless it is time to sell us something. <laughs> and next thing we know, we see Blue Blue. Um, Blue Ivy Carter, alongside her father, Jay-Z, at a basketball game. And she has on her brown skin girl t-shirt, which was, to me, the classiest clapback to a colorist and featurist. So, um, shout out to Beyonce, Jay-Z, Blue Ivy, and their whole team. Now, soon after that happened, we see that Beyonce... Um, took down her profile pictures and basically all her pictures she wiped clean her social media and so that let us know that something was coming a little insider I already knew Beyonce was working on new music how do you know that girl I knew it because a stylist of mine one of my hairstylists friends or cousins, I ain't gonna say which one, uh, was working on said project with Beyonce, so they let it slip, and I had the inside the scoop all along, I just been waiting to see when it was gonna drop, anyway, today we saw that Beyonce basically let us know that her new single, Break My Soul, would be out tonight at midnight, and baby, it came out, and here are my thoughts. There are mixed reviews on this song online simply because it is house music. And some people like house music, some people don't. It's a very niche market, uh, whereas Beyonce has been a very pop singer um, in the past. Pop Between pop and R&B, she travels. Uh, now, this is a niche market of house music. You know, I'm not sure that a lot of young people... Um, uh, enjoy house music as much as I do. I am from Chicago, Illinois, honey. This is the home of the house music. I am a house head, honey. Um, so I thoroughly enjoyed the song, but more than anything, I love the lyrics. I could see myself listening to this song, uh, while I'm working out. Um, it is so motivational, um, and maybe it'll help me work out because, child, y'all know I'm, I'm a thick mama jamma, um, and I need some motivation while I get back to the gym and things, but we're going to talk about that in another video. It is so motivating, um, and it's really a declaration for real. To me, the whole song sounds like a big party. Um, I especially love the lyrics to the chorus, and I'm going to be declaring this all the time okay you won't break my soul you won't break my spirit you won't break me baby i love it uh i will be saying that all the time now so y'all can get ready for me um i am here for the song um i know a lot of people aren't but i'm here for the house music vibe shout out to beyonce yet again and i want to just say this really quickly as a business person beyonce <laughs> Beyonce and her team are bar none. I mean, she done had about 
20, 30 years in the business, so she should know what she's doing. But I'm serious. Literally, you know, if I'm not mistaken, it was her self-titled album where she did the whole uh, surprise record. Well, everybody started doing that thereafter. And guess what? Beyonce said, let me break the mold again because I'm going to show y'all how to market. She's the queen of marketing. If nothing else, even if you don't like the song, you should be able to appreciate that. Appreciate the fact that this woman literally changes the mold every time she does something. It's it's beyond bizarre. Like whenever Beyonce does something new, everybody follows. And there are not many artists that are like that. So shout out to Beyonce for being so creative. And I believe that is called innovation. Uh, she is, <laughs> she is um, imitated lots, but she can't be du duplicated. Her, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, um, I don't want to start naming people, but they're Aretha Franklin, James Brown. Didn't I just say I want to name people? Anyway, there are some people in this world that God has blessed the world with that have just charted courses where everybody else is supposed to follow. And uh, those people are innovators. They are trailblazers. And even if you don't like the music, if you think it's whack, whatever, I think you should learn something from Beyonce because this lady, she don't stop. And she keeps you waiting for years. Y'all won't bully her into releasing no new music. And I love it. The woman don't say nothing and her fans fight for her. The beehive is literally insane. Um, But Beyonce, girl, keep it up. Thank you for this song as I am a house head and I will be listening to it in the mornings as I get ready. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments of the song. Can't wait to see y'all opinions. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. And y'all can just wait because I am going to do a full video on Saucy Santana tomorrow. I love y'all. Have a great day.